G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And today, I'm back out the bush, I'm down in a gully, and I've been looking around, I'm going to take some samples down in this creek, I'm going to dig down, take a couple of samples in my bucket, take them back up out of this um, gully, because there's no water here, and I've got some water back at the car, and I'll just do a couple of pans, and, and see if I can find something. And I've also, I've got some other areas um, that I want to prospect while I'm here there's I'll just show you over here what I found see this rock here see it's all got holes in it it's all bubbly here's a piece here it's all iron iron colored brownish full of um, holes and that vugs this is really light it's super light it's actually volcanic rock that's what it is volcanic rock because i know this area um is, is all volcanic yeah that's up the creek looking up the creek up that way looking upstream yeah so i'll be um sampling down here i'm down on the flat this creek actually goes up higher and i'm down on the flat ground here so i'm going to take some samples Okay guys, that's my first sample hole I've dug, and if you have a look here, that's going up on the bank. This is the bottom of the gully where I am, and then the sides go up higher. It's only a very narrow creek down the bottom here, but um, this is a, actually a fault line, what they call a fault line, where two um, bodies of of earth have come together and collided. This is where I am. There's a lot of different rocks here. Quartz, ironstone, um, nice, all kinds of rock. Quartzite, everything, it's here. So, where I've dug this hole, I'm into the gravels. There's the dirt that I, off the surface that I threw out. There's a bit of gravel in it. And in my bucket, I've kept some of the gravel. Only about a only about a shovel full of dirt. That's all I've got. That's all I need. And I'll take that up to the car and I'll pan it out once I do a couple more samples. Yeah, up in that area up there, there's a lot of old diggings from the old timers. And down here, where I am, you'll see all the gravel. All this gravel, iron, iron gravel, and over here, it's all gravel, all runs down there, down into the creek where I just was, where I took those samples. That's the creek down the bottom there, and it's all gravel, ironstone gravel, and there's quartz as well, and other types of rock, just all all mixed up and it all runs down into this creek right down the bottom of the gully okay I'm walking up up the slope um, up the creek and I came across this rock check this out guys this is iron and quartz mixed but I'll see this everywhere here another piece that purpley red iron, um, iron stone and then the white is your quartz yeah anyway I'm going up there further up the creek I'll take another couple of, or another at least another one sample and then I'll go back to the car and pan, pan it all out okay I've walked up the creek a bit and I've come I'm starting to come uphill And if you look around here, on the ground, you'll start to see bigger rocks. So it was all small gravel down the bottom there, where I took a couple of samples. As I start coming up the creek, the ground's starting to rise. 
I'm getting all these big rocks. And look what's here. Look at the size of this big monka. Looks like a big chunk of granite. Granite with uh, that white on there looks like quartzite. The whole rock might be quartzite. It looks that way, coming around here. See how it's all fractured? All like slabs, made up of slabs. Yeah. It looks interesting. Anyway guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another sample here. Right about there. Because this creek comes down from up there, comes all the way down here, and then where this big rock is, there's a flat spot. The ground levels off here. And then just before that log, it runs away again. So this is a flat area. I'll take a sample. Okay guys, here's that big boulder. That big rock that's come crashing down from up there probably hundreds of years ago. And I've dug a hole just here. Over a foot deep. And I put those samples in the bucket. Yeah, so I'm mixing, mixing the samples up, but I don't really care because if I get a speck of gold in that sample in the bucket, then I know it's worth coming back down here and doing some more tests. That's all it's about, guys. Just take samples and test. Always fill your holes in, guys. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. Look at this ground, guys. Quartz and iron stone. There's a big piece of quartz. All little bits of quartz. Quartz and iron stone. Shedding down from up, up the top of this ridge. Yeah, and all shed, shedding down and washing down into the creek below. Yeah, it's uh, like this salt and pepper type ground. The ants are on the move. They know it's going to rain. Okay, guys. I'm up at the owner's um, shed. He's kindly let me use his trailer to, um, to set my panning station up on. Yeah, this is the material that I took from down the bottom of the creek. So we'll just have a look. All I want to do is just see if I can pick up a speck, just one speck of gold, that's all I want to see. Um, that'll tell me that there is gold being shed into that creek down below. And uh, yeah, and that's prospecting guys, just getting out here, bringing a pan with you. If there's no water in the creek, you've got to bring your own water. And, yeah, and just do what I'm doing now. Dig the dirt and pan it out and see what you get. Now, I took about four samples down there guys and, and that's plenty. They're all down in the low areas in that creek. So if there if there was any gold at, at any time that shed down from the higher ground. It would have all ended up down there, in that creek somewhere. I have found microscopic gold here before, in the gravels, but it's, you can only see it under a, under, sorry, under a microscope. Okay guys. Right, eh? the great reveal. As I've shown you 
uh, in the video there's heaps of heaps of um, gravel ironstone and quartz and there's your black sand if there's any gold that's where it's going to be and nothing and I'm not even going to worry about microscopic gold guys I'm, I want to pan it out and I want to see a flake of gold in my pan that's what I'm looking for anything else I, I already know there's microscopic gold here okay I'll do another pan okay guys pan number three and so far no nah, no gold and this is the last pan guys this is the last of the sample that I took so no gold so far nothing that y'all can see in the pan anyway but that's all right that's that's prospecting you just gotta keep at it somewhere on this property there just might be a rich patch somewhere and that's what I'm looking for Okay, let's have a look, see if we can get a big piece of gold. Well, well we we're always going to get, we we're always going to get um, black sand because there's a lot of iron on this property. That there guys, I just got to check it on the jewels. That looks like a piece of gold. It's just there in front of my finger. I'll have a look. I'll get back to this. No gold guys. No, that was a false alarm. It was uh, a piece of clay. Yellow clay. Yeah, it looked like a, just looked like a small bit of gold. But no, nah, no good. Okay, I'm going to be going further up the hill and do some more investigating up there so stick with me we'll have a look check out this outcrop guys it's all um I'm not sure what type of rocket is here I can see quartz in there and uh, I think it's some kind of a conglomerate rock. If you look here, see all those knobs of white um, quartz or uh, quartzite, I think maybe. Yeah, it's in some other mix. Maybe some kind of a granite. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to have a look around here. I'm up the top, down there's that gully where I was, where I got those samples down that gully and I'm up on the top on the top eastern ridge and uh, I'm going to have a look around here okay I just found this rock here I just broke that's part of the um, part of that outcrop and I just broke a piece off and uh, if you see in here you can see the quartz and there's that rusty iron um, in, in the mix too. The same stuff that I found down in the creek that I was finding in the creek, that quartz with the iron and I took a couple of samples while I was in the creek so I'll take some of this and put it in a bucket all I'm doing today is I'm just looking for rocks that look right that might have gold and I'm, I'm going to take them home, crush them and pan them out look at this rock here guys see how it's got all these bandings going through it all the red iron the white, um, I think that might be quartzite, the white going through it. Uh, here's a big piece of quartz, big piece of white quartz. 
yeah, it's all over the place here. There's quartz, ironstone, a good mixture. There's another rock with the uh, with the quartz stringer veins going through it. Quartz or quartzite. And in the in my bucket is a nice a nice piece of quartz that's um, mineralized. See all the rusty red all going through it. That's a nice piece of quartz, mineralized piece of quartz. So I've got that couple other rusty red pieces of rock quartz and um, iron in it so that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for the quartz with the mineralization in it and uh, and then I'll take it home crush it and pan it out I'll have another bit of a look around this is another part of that outcrop I've just walked along it and uh, down here is some chert what they call chert but there's chert and then there's uh, this chert here is actually mixed with something else there's another rock mixed in with it and this outcrop here it's chert and something else you see that skin there on the outside that's chert and then um, the other part of the rock is yeah it's made up of some kind of a, a mudstone or something yeah that's all interesting stuff this is all volcanic all this rock it was all formed millions of years ago from um, volcanic action yeah. so uh, all I'm doing guys is looking for mineralized quartz pieces of quartz and I'm taking them home to crush and pan and just see if there is any gold up here up on the higher ground Check this out guys, a wild pig. Just meandering along. Yeah, all kinds of animals out here in the bush. G'day guys, well I'm back from out the bush. Uh, well it's been a couple of days now. And anyway, some of the rock that I brought back, this iron, irony, um, quartz rock I'll just give you a, a closer look at it you see the rusty iron in it it's heavy it's quite heavy and this is quartz with the iron mixed in it and I've got some other rocks here there's some other pieces I'm going to crush these up and pan it out and just see if there is any gold in it this is what the rock that I picked up from down in that gully yeah so the this has come from up the top on the higher ground and yeah and it's just float that's come down from the top and ended up in that gully and it's quite heavy it's a heavy rock so anyway I'll get into it okay guys let's get crashing eh Here's the gear. There's all the material I'll be crushing. A lot of iron in the mix. Okay, there's the material. See how rusty red it is. That's the iron oxide in the rock. And there's iron oxide and quartz. So we'll see how we go, guys. See if I can get some gold. See if I can show you some fine gold in the pan. That'll be good. Um, I'm pretty confident there's going to be microscopic gold in this material, but I really want to see some some bigger pieces in the pan. There's 
is um, the area that, that I got this material from, as you saw in the video, down in that gully. It's an actual fault, a, a uh, fault line from millions of years ago when the, when the earth was evolving and breaking up and crashing into each other and all that. And it's, um, it's a fault where minerals, um, your quartz and fluids and everything has come up, come up through um, deeper down in the earth and come up to the surface. This is what this area is, a fault, what they call a fault. Let's see if I can show you a bit of gold. I'm not seeing anything. I can see some shiny metal at the back of the pan, but I don't know if it's gold or some of it might be metal from the crusher. I'll run a magnet over it and just pick up all that all that um, steel from the crusher yeah but that's it guys um, no I can't see any gold I can see a whole heap of shiny pieces of metal in here but nothing that looks like gold okay I'll get back to you with another pan okay pan number three and no I'm not seeing any gold guys um, I haven't looked down in my jewels loop but I um, just panning about the pans and running a magnet over it to pick up any iron or steel from the crusher and um, now I'm not seeing any gold in the pan at all so oh well that's uh, maybe I might go back there with my monster my gold monster metal detector and just have a bit of a play down in that gully and see if I can pick up any rocks that have um, non-ferrous signals. And just see if I can pick up some rock um, with gold in it that way. Okay, let's have a look in this pan. All I want to see is one speck. Just one piece of gold that I can see in the pan. Little bit, little specks up the back here, but I think a lot of that is just going to be metal from the crusher. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number five in the last pan and no, I can't see any gold. Maybe maybe when I run it, up, run it under the microscope I might see some, but that's really fine. Um, yeah, and I've just got to keep looking because I want to find bigger stuff. I want to be able to see it in the pan. Like, um, like that material that I got from Mr. Gold. Well, I crushed it up and you could see the the pieces of gold in the pan, that's what I need to find. I need to find rock like that that's holding bigger pieces of gold. But you know, I'll just keep looking. I know there's gold in the area because I've been finding it. It's just, just that I'm only finding microscopic gold. So somewhere in those hills, there must be some bigger stuff, surely. The old timers, they've, they've found the, bit, the better gold. I just gotta find something that they've missed. All I can see up there, I can see all sparkly bits, but most of it, um, the magnet picked it up, so it's just 
fine pieces of metal off the crusher. Anyway guys, I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Well guys, yeah another dud unfortunately. My apologies. Um, that's prospecting though. I've got to get out there. I've got to take rocks, samples, bring them home, crush them, pan them out and um, maybe one day I might find the, the bonanza yeah, that I'm looking for. I know there's gold in the area that I'm hunting. The old time was found gold there. But uh, maybe they got it all. Maybe they left some behind. Yeah. Anyway, I'll keep hunting, guys. Now, I've got two more of these atlases. West Australian atlases. And um, I'll just give you a look, just in case you're new to my channel or you're a new viewer and you haven't seen these, these atlases before. They're really only good to you if you, um, if you live in Australia. Uh, this is a West Australian Atlas of Mineral Deposits. And um, all those yellow, all those yellow dots that you can see in there, they're all gold deposits. The blue dots, they're iron ore deposits. And you've got other deposits. There's purple dots, which are some kind of a gemstone, so there's all types of gemstones marked in. Um, there's some black dots there, that's uranium. Yeah, so every mineral um, that has been found, and there's, um, they've marked in, the, the um, West Australia Mines Department have marked in all the deposits in Western Australia. So yeah, so if you're interested and you want one, leave me a comment. Um, or send me an email and uh, and the first two will get the prize yeah so um that's it guys for another one cheers I'm on the water my wife says my viewers must think that I'm an alcoholic because I always have a beer well I'm, I'm not an alcoholic I'll, I don't even drink beer much I just I have the odd beer maybe one a day, perhaps. Yeah, so maybe when it's a bit warm and then I might have a beer, but just the one of, I'm, of um, as I've got older, I've gone away from alcohol, which is probably a good thing. Anyway, cheers. Ah, thank you for watching my videos, Sub subscribing. Please, please subscribe if you, if, if you um, wish to, because it costs you nothing, it's absolutely free. All it does is, is it helps my channel grow and it will um, it'll, uh, give you a reminder when my next video is up. That, that's basically all it does. So it helps my channel grow because you become a subscriber. YouTube see that and YouTube will push my videos out there so you guys can see them. Yeah, cheers guys. Stay safe out there, be good. And I'll see you on the next one, maybe with some gold.